Greetings and salutations, this is Imperator Vespasian and his trusty sidekick. Hello. And we are bringing you today a new purchase, which is the Razorback Rhino. It's, uh, it's a rhino. So, there you go. Well done. What's a rhino? It's, it's a tank. It's now a personnel carrier. Uh, but the Razorback is usually used for command units, because it has an additional weapon on it, uh, on the top. It's quite nice. Right, so we'll get into the box. Don't stand it up. It doesn't want to stand up. Put something behind it. Uh, there we go. <coughs> the book on how to do things. Uh, that's the Rhino version and the Razorback version. The Rhino and the Razorback are the same vehicle, it's just the Razorback has uh, heavy weapon mounted on the roof. Um, hence it's used for command squads. So it's, it's quite simple to put together. You've already built one, haven't you? Yeah, no, I, I built Predator. You built Predator, which is pretty much the same as, the, as this, isn't it? So, we just get the standard kit, kit um, which you've seen. Um, all this is identical to the Predator that we did before. The only difference is the heavy weapons on board, which are these. Which is really cool. So, what do you think of it? Well, I, I remember how I did my tank, and I hate tanks now. What, was it hard to put together? Mm, yeah. Really? I didn't understand how these worked, the tracks. Ah, well, it's your first time doing tracks, isn't it? Yeah, so I ended up getting super boost up my fingers, not realising, so I stuck together. Yeah. And then I tried to take my uh, own hand, and I couldn't. Yeah, that, that happens. Uh, you need to be careful when you're gluing. Um, so you get a commander for the Coppola. Coppola. Um, do you get the same one in the... Uh, yes. Yes, right. So it's exactly the same as the other tank we did. The only difference is the, the roof-mounted weapon. Yep. Um, so what options are? Oh, you can have a last cannon mounted on the roof or you can have a twin heavy bolt mounted on the roof. Or is it just a straight heavy bolter? Yeah, hmm. it's just straight. So, which do you think is more useful? Heavy bolter. Go on, reasoning. Well, mm, if you have a heavy bolter, you can just get rid of all the space when you can. No, it's heavy, charge through. Heavy, heavy firepower. Yeah. Yeah, multiple shots. But if shot. you have a last cannon, you can't fire bombs. Well, yeah, the way I see it is the last cannon is for taking out tanks. Yeah, but not, there's not going to be a lot of tanks compared to infantry. Yeah, but that's what your tanks are for. Your tanks take on enemy tanks, so your Razorback should really be used as infantry support, so it, it's laying down heavy suppression fire. So it's just more logical to put a heavy bolt on the roof. My price tank is a tank just right over there. Yeah, so yeah. Your, your tank will drive around and take on other tanks, and this guy doesn't have to worry about other tanks, because... It's someone else's problem. Yeah, not bad. So, any more ideas on it? What's this? That's the base. Oh. You've already used it, so you should know. Yeah, I just tried to read the instructions as best I could. To really look at them. Yeah, yeah. So, that's that. Nothing else particularly special to say about it, really. It's just a uh, standard un unboxing. Oh, so you get your little, uh, what do you call them? Transfer sheets. Uh, yeah, your transfer sheets, which is... Ultramarines. Yeah, all Ultramarine stuff, because for some reason everything comes with Ultramarines. I mean, what is it with the Smurfs? Why is everyone? Why is everything base standard Ultramarines? Because they're fantastic. They're the most boring chapter in the Space Marines. Yeah, and they win. I'm sure there's a more boring chapter than the Ultramarines, but they're so boring no one's ever heard of them. There might be one little illustration of the figure, but you've never heard of the chapter or anything, and because it's so boring... You're saying, saying Ultramarines are that boring that that's why they're always 
in a because piece. it's the standard one. Mm. It's the standard variant they went for. So um, then you got the different type of squad which you can put on, which is fine. Um, I never bother with that sort of stuff. They always theme my vehicles. Uh, you do too, by the look of it, considering the tank the tanks you're working on. I'm petty, yeah. But you're doing it as to a theme, aren't you? Yes. Yeah. Um, so that's really everything we can say. I can't really think of anything else to. It's add a tank. Video. It's just it's just a I'm a personnel carrier. Um, the stuff on the back shows you the different variations. Um, what we got. We got uh, Dark Angels and Ultra Smurfs. How boring. Dark Angels are cool though. Dark Angels. Ultramarines. <sighs> no, I don't like Ultramarines. Yeah, 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 sure. Opinion no, I found Ultramarines. Right, so is that it? Yeah. Right, uh, that's the end of the video. Um, we can't really think of anything else to say. We're just going to waffle, and there's no point in waffling. So, Thank uh, you very much for watching. And goodbye. No, it's, no, it's, that's everything for me. Oh, right. Thank you very much for watching. That's everything for me. And everything from him. Bye. Goodbye.